In this video, we're gonna eat Filipino food for 24 hours straight here in BGC Philippines, next on Jaycation. Kamusta, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the Philippines series. Today, we are gonna be doing 24 hours of Filipino food around Bonifacio Global City here in Taguig. We're gonna do breakfast, we're gonna do lunch, we're gonna do dinner, we're gonna do a late night snack and hang out around the Manila Gin Festival. I'm excited to start off here at Locavore in Forbes Town, which is part of BGC, and try out some breakfast. So let's go inside. First spot we're trying out in this 24 hours of only Filipino food in BGC is Locavore. You've seen this on my vlog many years ago. This was established back in 2014 and they have many amazing Filipino dishes. I remember having a great breakfast here with Mom Cation and Dad Cation and my cousin Miko. We've done dinners here before. So we're gonna do a brunch here. It's about 11 o'clock and we're going full 24 hours eating only Filipino food. So let's go. Taste Atlas says this is the best synagogue in the world. Really? Bulalo Pinchos? Wow. They have a huge menu here, but they also do solo to go stuff. But since we're doing breakfast, lunch, and dinner in this video, I gotta grab breakfast. I've been looking at the menu here. Even their lunches look amazing. Look, they have a pho lalo, which is their pho lalo version of pho. Wow, some really unique stuff over here. Green curry bicol express looks good. But we're gonna have to get a silug, which is basically a bowl with two eggs and a meat. That's what a typical breakfast is. We're gonna have plenty of ube in this video. So instead of uh, ube makapuno shake for about 240 pesos, I'm going with their green mango shake today. Switch it up a little bit. Mango or ube, mango or ube. They even have a nice assortment of craft beers here from the Philippines. Also your regular bottled beer from San Miguel, but they have a draft beer called Boondocks. And you guys know my show on KPBS back home in San Diego is called Out of the Boondocks and we've just finished our second season. You can watch it online worldwide. Out of the Boondocks is about Filipino creatives around San Diego doing amazing things and we interview so many amazing Phil M's in San Diego talking about their craft and their career. Something that's a little different from the norm but they're also successful in it. Make sure you check out Out of the Boondocks season two. First things first, we got the green mango shake. Usually I'll get the ripe mango shake but we gotta switch it up and try different stuff. So. Or calamansi juice, but green mango, oh that's so tasty. <sighs> Has a slightly different taste to the ripe mango shake. Mm. Sweet and sourness right here. You gotta love the mangoes here in the Philippines. Like ideals. So breakfast, like I said, when a breakfast plate ends with silug, that means it has two eggs with it over rice and a meat topping. Usually it's langonisa, tocino, and various other things like pork chops or even bangus, which is a fish. We ended up getting the tosiluk because I love tocino. Yummy. Locavore actually has six different locations throughout the Metro Manila area. You can go to Eastwood and other parts of town. This is the one I've only visited in BGC and it's right next to where I'm staying. So we got that bacon tosilug here, two sunny side up eggs, there's an orange peel, some cucumber, and garlic rice. And then the side comes with their mix of vinegar. Let's dig in. Mmm, nice crispy bacon. I actually really like garlic rice. Let's spread the yolk on the rice here. Got some onions with the cucumber too. Nice bacon. Mm. This is a very tasty breakfast. I usually don't eat breakfast, but for this video, when there is a time where I do eat breakfast, it's always the tocino, the tosilug. Mm. Very good egg, very good rice, garlic rice. You gotta throw some of that vinegar in there. Mm. Definitely a great way to start the day. Also like getting langonisa as well. Every now and then, just watch out for the langonisa bird. So we're going to Boracay. We're gonna have more breakfasts over there. Hotel breakfasts usually are included. I'm not sure if the ones that I'm staying at are included, but most places like in Palawan and there, if you're in a nicer hotel, they do include breakfast and they're really good. You can get long silug or tosilug, really good stuff. But this was great. Their vinegar mix was amazing. I love the mixture of cucumbers, onions, along with the bacon tosilug, straight fire, and their eggs. Yum. I'm feeling this green mango shake. But I gotta try that Boondocks Brewing Company. I have to, right? It's only right. 
we did a pretty decent job with the plate. I didn't finish all the rice. Let's bite into the orange. Nice citrusy sweetness. It's time for that boondocks beer though. All right, so they have a session ale and a summer ale. I went with the summer ale a little stronger. Let's try it out. They have those two on draft, but they also got a ton of other beers. Yeah, a little on the stronger side, probably around 5.86. Not crazy, but it's a good beer. Shout out to Out of the Boondocks. Hopefully we have a season three, so stay tuned. Breakfast at Locavore was great. Had to nurse this beer. We will have a late lunch and then dinner. 24 hours of Filipino food. It's gonna be a tough one. I'm going on a big diet when I get back to the States. All right, JK Shooters, it is past lunch. It's more like merienda. I fell asleep super long. Took like a two hour nap. I don't know, I don't think I've ever adjusted to the time here, but I'm gonna have a late dinner tonight. So we're just gonna have a little, we're gonna have dinner, something between lunch and dinner. We're gonna go to the food hall and try out the Filipino spot there. Give you more of a fast food option and then we'll do another sit-down restaurant this food hall is kind of hidden you have to go down this escalator here food district on fifth so this place is called inihao pilit means choose luto means cook what's high in i don't know what high in is comment down below <laughs> and this is what's on their menu bulalo seafood sinigang nilagang baka papaitan kare kare sinigang na lechon and then they have these combos overload one overload two or overload three okay this looks all good they got lechon paksi Bicol Express, Pancit, Kilawin Fish, Chicken Sisig, Bopis, Bagnet Sisig, and there's a Bagnet meal for $2.70. And look at this lechon over here. Wow, and then uh, you got your eggplant too, fried, and the Filipino barbecue. Inihao is a really good deal. Look at that, two twenty-five. But then if you got the bad net overload, a few more pesos, you get rice and you get a drink too. But uh, we went with the seafood walk. This is basically like a famous food street, it's like in Resorts World or a hawker food hall in Singapore, but mini one here in BGC High Street. This is the one true Filipino place that they have Filipino. They have all types of gourmet from all parts of. Asia here and I've tried Hawker Chan which I love. I had it like three times already but uh, in Nihau is the first time I've tried the Filipino place and that's fairly inexpensive. That was about five bucks for the meal so actually under five bucks for the meal. Not bad. Salamat! Thank you. I'll tell you what guys, for 225 pesos, that ain't bad. It comes in a nice pan and it has vinegar and I went with the Bicol Express. Oh, it's got even a huge lumpia with an egg. This is my third egg today. So seating here is basically a free for all. Let's try out the Bicol Express. Mmm. That's tasty. I love how you have the vinegar with it. It adds extra to it. And you also got peppers and onions. Mmm, that is really good. You pay only about one fourth than you would in a restaurant here. Two types of peppers in your uh, Beagle Express, the red peppers. Be careful, you get a really hot one. That will get you. Oh, that will get you, believe me. Should've, I should have ordered the water. <laughs> This is awesome. Nice mix of everything. I'm definitely glad I came here to try it out. But I would definitely order a bottle of water. Especially if you're going to get the Beagle Express because it's pretty spicy. Mm. Finally, we're going to try this giant thick lumpia. Let's put it in uh, vinegar. Oh yeah. It's almost like in a Turon wrapper. It's just a giant one. Basically just sprouts and stuff in the inside. No meat. Wow, for 225, that is a tasty, amazing meal. Nihao definitely gets my approval. I'm gonna have to have a late, late dinner now because I'm stuffed again. Mm, I love this food hall. All right, let's walk around the block. Can't sweat too much though. I sweated on my last shirt. That's why I have to change out of that. Two or three shirts a day. That's a lot of laundry on this trip. So Bicol Express comes from the Bicol region of the Philippines. It's south of Manila. Bicol Express is basically pork mixed with peppers and this white sauce that is amazing. And my Ate Gigi in Barcelona, she makes an amazing Bicol Express. And it's one of my favorite dishes because it's spicy. So good. You guys gotta try Bicol Express in the Philippines. We're definitely going on a massive diet when I get home. But you know what, while you're here, you gotta try all the foods. I got this from Redzels in Baguio. It's Ube Halaya, and it expires in like seven days from the time of opening because they don't put any preservatives in it. I also got these Ube Crinkles from the Everything Nice Cake Shop and Cafe from Good Shepherd Baguio. 
These nice little ube crinkles, look at this. Yum, yum, they're nice with powdered sugar. Well, I'm gonna put some ube halaya on top because we gotta devour this ube halaya before I leave. Mmm, yep, that is so good. That is ube in your mouth. Mmm, yum. Give me one more, that. So you can use this ube halaya as like a spread on your like bread, but you know your boy needs some ube on ube action. Mmm, <laughs> that's so good. All right, I gotta stop eating. I got a late dinner to do still. Two hours later. Dinner time here in BGC, and we are at the dinner spot. This is Manam, Filipino comfort food. They have an amazing ube sago you've seen on the vlog before, and some really great dishes. I'm in the mood for some soup right now, so it's time for that gang gang. Hashtag gang gang. We're gonna get some of their famous sinigang with watermelon. Sounds weird, right? But trust me, it's bomb. Here's a lot of their stuff. They got shiitake and tokwa kare kare, crispy lumpiang ubud, shrimp bikol express. Oh, gising gising. Their gising gising is very popular too. They do have a huge menu here. There's also breakfast, and they offer small, medium, and large plates. Obviously, I'm gonna have to get the small at this point in time. You can get gising gising for about less than three bucks a small. They have so many great things, like their sisig is very famous here. But I'm pretty maxed out on eating, so I'm just gonna get two dishes and my favorite, the ube sago. This menu is amazing and they do have a ton of manams all around Manila, so you're gonna wanna check it out. They have them in Makati, all over the place. All right guys, dinner is served. We got the gising gising, small. It looks amazing. And it's got like a coconut sauce to it and some garlic, it's so tasty. And then their special sinigang with beef and watermelon and then their ube sago. And then I also had to get rice because you need rice with sinigang. No other choice, but I got the garlic rice too. It's a bigger bowl than I thought. We're gonna go with the gising gising. There's a little bit of the bangus on there. Mm. Very coconutty. It's good. You can get a hint of bangus. This is really good. Mm. Paper straw. Good. If you guys ever come to Manam, you gotta try the gising gising. Mm. They give you a little bowl. I usually drown my rice in my synagogue. You got green beans, watermelon, tomato. It's a tamarind soup. Also some spinach. So grab some of that beef. So the watermelon makes it a little more sweet, less soury. I'm not gonna lie to you, Mom Kitchen makes a really great synagogue. She puts tons of tamarind in it, it makes it super sour. I always give her crap saying that out of a 10 tamarind scale, it's like a three, but usually it's pretty freaking high. It's pretty good. This is actually subtly sour. Let's try out the beef. Beef is decent. And they also have another type of synagogue. No watermelon, it's just their traditional type. But this is definitely their specialty. Instead of having this for dessert, you gotta have this as the drink. The mini sago bowls are really good too. It's a tasty dinner. Very yummy. Alright guys, so that was Manam. That was amazing. I killed that Sinigang watermelon. It was really good, but I also really did enjoy the ube sago as usual. That was my second one so far this trip. Really would like to have it at least one more time before I leave, but I'm already eating way too much ube. And the gising gising was amazing. I don't think I could have handled anything else. I was contemplating getting the sizzling sisig, but bruh, 24 hours of Filipino food? That's a heavy food, man. That's and the rice, that gets me, so I get filled up real quick. Later that same evening. Got a couple of videos edited, done and done with, and I rewarded myself by saying, all right, it's Saturday night, you gotta step out. The Manila Gin Festival is happening right now, so I kinda wanna try it out and uh, have a couple of rounds of gin. It's Saturday night and we in the spa, so everybody's out here dressed up, looking good. Just uh, soak in my second to last Saturday here in the Philippines. So let's keep walking to the Manila Gin Festival. Shout out to the person who commented that it was coming here for two nights. Let's get some GNTs, baby. You know I love that. 
I'm telling you guys, this is the most famous Instagram wall right here. Everybody takes pictures and just look how cracking it is here on High Street on a Saturday night. See that on weekends they close down this road so people can bike and scooter around and you don't have to worry about cars passing this way. Really cool feel. There's that loud music. That's where the Manila Gin Festival is. On the outer part of the Gin Festival, they do have food, rack and rolls, and it's just getting even more and more crowded over here. Let's see if we can grab ourselves some gin. Here's Bolero. This is the Manila Gin Festival, and I guess you gotta go in and register. They'll give you a cup. So it was 2,000 pesos for entry, but you get two of these, and you get this, and unlimited uh, tastings. It's Saturday night, why not? 2,000 pesos is about what? Less than 50 bucks? Have a couple of GNTs, walk back home, call it a night. Alright, so the first drink I saw was Nordis Gin. It's from Spain, it's a really good gin. I drink it all the time when I'm in Barcelona. And I didn't have to use my ticket stub, and they fill this thing up about halfway. They mix it with beaver tree too, so. That's what's up, dude. You can get tasters and limited, and then these two free drinks are basically like claimable at the bar. Pretty fun. Fever Tree is the best and that's what the mixer is for this. Yum yum. So they have 1834 premium distilled gin, Dionysus, Beef Eater, Teeny Martini, and a bunch of other bars all surrounding High Street right here. Nine o'clock only. Let's see how long I last in here. Look at this. They got Martin Miller's. My roommate Roel told me this is really good so I gotta try Martin Miller's. Dude, they even have Malfi over here. That's an Italian gin. This gotta be my favorite gin. This one is called Martel. Obviously gotta have Tanqueray here, right? It's not a gin festival without Tanqueray. So this is the Martin Miller. There's cinnamon in this one. I never thought cinnamon would actually go well with the fever tree and orange. freaking ube liqueur holy moly let's try this out i ain't gonna lie i may get a bottle of this on the way out ube liqueur let's try it out bro bro oh yeah this is what i've been looking for my whole life try Malfi. Shout out to Wines and Copas, to Adrian and Abel. It's so good. That's my favorite drink right there. It's hilarious here. People are having a good time. The bartenders are even drinking. So like, some of them don't even take tickets. So I bought two more tickets. It was like $2.50 each. But I wanted another round of that Ube. And now I only have one more ticket left. But he didn't take my ticket the last time. So I got a Malfi. So good, dude. Malfi is amazing. The grapefruit gin. It's an Italian gin. It's so good. But I have one more after this. La Sangre. We're taking home not one, but two of these mofos. And the vodka. The Canto vodka. Like I said, Ube liqueur. That's that shit, bruh. Round three. So good. I'm calling this a night, but I gotta get food. I put the Ube in a plastic cup. This is my third Ube drink. My stomach feels it, but I had to get this lumpia, the pork Shanghai, and the Ube. We're at this place called Rack and Rolls right now. They had an Ube baby and cheese siron in a pork Shanghai lumpia. For show, for show. Y'all's been asking me to have lumpia, right? We're gonna have some damn lumpia. They got sriracha too. There's the sweet and sour sauce. They got this white sauce for the Ube. I got the lumpia Shanghai. Look at that. Look at that, baby. Put in the uh, sriracha. Bro, pop, lock it, drop it. Pop, lock it, drop it. Mmm, let's try that sweet and sour sauce. Let's go. Bro, that lumpia is so bomb. Pork lumpia Shanghai. Mmm, -hmm. it's a wrap. Yo, so good. 
Well, I'm glad I got this as late night. Forget 7-Eleven. Sarap, not sarap. All right, let's try this lumpia and cheese with the white sauce. Let's we'll see what they got. Bro. Rock and rolls, lumpia to run. Grab it, bro. Masarap. Yo, this gotta be like condensed milk or cheese or something. Mmm, my goodness. Drink it with this. Manila Gin Festival, you know what's up, for real. My gin cup broke, but that means it probably wouldn't have lasted all the way back to the US, so whatever. No gin glass souvenir, at least I have the ube liqueur with me. All right, I gotta go to bed. Wow, masarap ang lumpia to. Well, finishing off the night with a little bit of this Nestle ube ice cream. Probably just a couple bites. But that will do it for your 24 hours of eating only Filipino food here in BGC. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Jaycation and my new channel, Jaycation San Diego. Comment down below what's your favorite Filipino food. And we'll see you all in the next video. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. See you next time. In the words of me, stay traveling. Manila. Magandang gabi. Bye,